Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing y'all a little bit more detail of how I constructed my drawer storage unit. I've had several people on YouTube and several of my subscribers ask me for a more for some of the specific dimensions and exactly how I constructed this thing and hopefully this will help y'all out. Now the overall dimensions of this thing it's about 58 and a quarter inches long it's about uh, 34 and a quarter inches tall including the top and it's about 24 and a half inches deep. Now as you can see I have four little partitions here and they're all cut exactly the same. They're about 33 and a half by 22 and a quarter and they have a notch. Every one of them has a notch for the toe kick in the bottom. Now to connect all my partitions together I basically use one before stock. If I could go back now I'd probably rip down some three quarter inch plywood to three and a half inches. It's just cheaper that way. But I used five total to go all the way across. Five one before go all the way across. I have one across in the back, one in the back on the top, and one on the front in the top. Now for the bottom, I have one that's run across the back on the bottom, and I have these pieces cut to go in between each of my partitions on the front. Now for my center partitions, I actually notched my MDF partitions to allow my one before to go through them. I notched all three of them and also notched the ones on the bottom. I did this so that I could cut the one before's one length instead of having to cut a bunch of different lengths. I could only cut five instead of, what, 15. And here you can see where I notched the one in the bottom on the back. And if I could go back, I would notch this toe kick out three quarters inches more. And I'd put one solid one before across the front. Well, that's pretty much it. You know, this construction is pretty easy. I mean, all you really do is you cut out your partitions, you cut your notches in every one of them, and then you cut your one befores and you screw it all together, or you nail it all together, screw it all together, and make sure your spacing's right. If your spacing's right, then when you mount your drawer slides, all these drawers are going to be the exact same width, and it's really pretty simple. You know, you just figure out what spacing you want, what size drawers you want, how many, in which area, and be sure your drawer slides are all mounted level. Be sure they're mounted square and make your drawers and go with it. I mean, this is pretty simple. So I just built that carcass, slapped a uh, three quarter inch MDF on the top, and I edge banded it with some hardwood oak. Well, I'd like to thank y'all for watching my video and thank y'all for commenting and asking me to do this. I kind of enjoyed it. You know, it's nice to do something that I know that someone wants to see. You know, so it's kind of cool to do that. But uh, if y'all want to see some more of my videos, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Sailing and Such. I'm sure there'll be a link around here somewhere. And also, uh, you know, if there's anything else you have a question about in my shop, you know, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to do a video on it or just answer your question. And uh, if y'all like this video and my other videos, you know, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe to my channel so you stay updated when I upload new videos. Thank y'all.